What is up guys, this is Exhilarates, and today I'm going to bring you guys a commentary. Um, it's going to be Raid Domination again. Um, sorry for that, I guess Raid Domination is just an easy game mode for me to uh, get commentaries on. Um, but I go 50 and 19 I believe, it's a pretty solid gameplay. I, like I said, mostly in every single commentary. It's usually a part where I messed up on, I messed a shot, I did good shots, you know, something like that. So, but it's a pretty overall good gameplay. I go 50 and 19, passes by 31 kills, which is very, very good for uh, a sniper. And I think I've only used my secondary like twice. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a great gameplay. So hopefully you guys can enjoy the commentary. But, you know, just away from the commentary itself, today I'm going to be talking about why I think I'm underrated. Um, and let me just point out saying that this video is for me not to sound conceited, for me not to um, brag about myself or to feel cool about myself or anything like that. That is exactly not what I'm trying to do. I'm just stating why I think I'm underrated, why I think I should be somewhere else where I'm, uh, where I'm obviously at right now. You know, I, I'm going to pretty much just explain where I think I should be and where I should be, you know, by the end of summer. And so, you know, let me just get right into it. Pretty much, you know, it all started out in MW2, you know. Uh, when I first got the game, I actually didn't even want the game in the first place. I just got it because my two other brothers, um, they, they, they obviously had their own Xbox and they had um, MW2 and I, really, I didn't even really want the game. So I bought it for my birthday and obviously became really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot and didn't, I didn't know about sniping yet. Um, and then obviously until I saw Optic Predator's montages, people would start sniping a lot more and something I enjoyed doing. And then, you know, it just kind of started, it kind of started off like that. I mean, I knew what sniping was, but I didn't really take it seriously or anything. Uh, you know, I just kind of avoided it. I always, you know, right, use the right gun, you know, just the simple stuff um, with Call of Duty. But, what it's, you know, I started getting sniping a lot. I started doing it um, often, and I started to do it every day, practice every day in private match with my friends. You know, just messing around, playing high rise, you know, playing on the rise, you know, just all that stuff. And hold on one second. Okay, sorry if I was reading the text. But, you know, like I said, just all that high rise and rush stuff, you know, made me realize that I want to take Snipe into a bigger level. I wanted to, to take it to a better stage, a, a better a better position in my, in my you know, Call of Duty career. Because, you know, after after a while, after my just practicing constantly, and, you know, in private match, getting better, watching videos, watching tutorials on how to get better, watching my inspirations, Optic Predator, um, just, you know, Optic Nation in general, just after watching them, it's something that I wanted to do. I wanted to become... You know, maybe sometime big on YouTube. It's something like that. I just want to take Snipe into a bigger level in myself. And I wanted to do that with my skills. Because, you know, I just started noticing, like I said, I'm not trying to, to try to sound conceited and fool myself. You know, like I said, that's not exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just explaining why I think I'm I think I'm underrated in my opinion. And a lot of others in, uh, in their eyes too. But I started to notice every time we would play at headquarters, um with my clan or you know just in general just from private matches for the fun of it I was most likely always on top I was always either second or first and I was usually always positive by 20 by 25 kills um, with the sniper you know headquarters competitive sniping and I was always on first you know and it was something that was capping constantly I was always first I was always one of the most kills and it wasn't necessarily a kill horn but you know I was doing OBJ which stands for objective just because you didn't know that so, you know I was always Doing the objective was always managing to get a lot of kills and you know hitting those clutch moments when our team needed me the most. When you know I was the last one alive for the headquarters, I was getting those moments and getting those kills down. But then again, I wasn't in a serious clan. I wasn't with you know the right people, the known people. I guess you can say I didn't have the connections, you know, with the, the known people to help me get into a better clan than I than I already was in. I didn't have those connections to what a lot of people do now that they have, you know, if you're friends with an optic, if you're friends with a sore, a face, a day, or a darth, anybody that's someone known, they usually, and if you become, you know, friends with them and you guys are really close or something like that, you know, you, you usually can manage something with them and help to get noticed. Or, you know, if you just have been friends with them for a very long time or if you even know them in real life, usually somebody, anybody that's really known, they usually had a connection for them to help them to get where they are now. It, it's, it's really hard, and not just myself, but there's so many... There's so many underrated snipers out there that are better than the snipers you see now. You know, that you it's, just, it's like that in anything. You know, basketball, football. There's always athletes out there that are better than the pros. I'm not saying every single under, you know, people that every single person that's out there, but you know, people that are practiced and take time into. It, there's always underrated people out there that aren't seen. 
And it's always going to be like that, you know, all of the underrated people are not going to be seen. It's just how it works, you know, because, you know, they're just, they're just underrated. They're not seen. You know, nobody knows who they are. They don't have the right friends. They don't know the right people. You know, and I, I think this, you know, that's just kind of bogus. You know, some people get some people get judged on, on their channel just because of how, their fan base, of how many subscribers they have, how many video views they have. And, you know, and I, I just think it's, it's kind of stupid because, you know, let, let's just say, for example, Let's just post an unrated someone, an unrated montage someone just came out with, and then a known montage. And let's let's just say, for example, that unrated montage was better than the person that had the known montage. The known montage will get more hits and more likes and more comments and more better feedback than the person that than the unrated montage, just because he's known. And just because you're known, people get so many more you know valuable things and things that underrated people don't get. And I think it's you know kind of stupid, but you know it's how it works. And I just think it's it's bogus to, that it's like that. But you know, sorry, I'm, I went on kind of that rant. But we're back to why I kind of think I'm underrated. You know, I, like I said, I've always been on top in headquarters. I've always been on top of my friends. I've always been the best. And my friends, they would always come back to me for one v ones. You know, whether they're they face someone that's really good and they say, oh, I can smack anybody on your friends list. They would come up to me, accelerate. I want you one v one this guy. And every single time, I would win. And you know. Let me just shoot out an, a true statement, a true fact that I'm not lying about. I am not making it up. You can ask anybody in my friends list. Um, specifically, you can ask Wixzy, W-C-Z-Y. You can personally message him on my friends list and ask him this. I probably played around 600, 700 1v1s, maybe you know more or less. I've only lost one legit 1v1. One legit 1v1. And, you know, I am not making that up. I'm not trying to sound cool and using because. I don't, you know, I, when people tell me their 1v1 records, I usually don't care because, you know, most of it's fake and stupid and pointless. But I'm just shooting an estimate answer. I probably played somewhere around 700 1v1s, something like that. But I've only lost one legit 1v1, and that was actually my first 1v1 on Dome. Every single 1v1 after that, I've, I've won. And, you know, I, it, you know, that tells me something. You know, it has to be, after all those 1v1s, it wasn't just 10v1, 1v1s, it wasn't just 5, it was a lot of 1v1s. And I've won every single time. And you know, and the has to just tell me something, and not all of them were bad. The closest I became to loss was, I think, two kills, and that was against my friend Beretta, that he almost beat me. But you know, it it's it, it was telling me something that constantly going on top, constantly averaging 25 plus kills a game, and MW3 constantly you getting clips and things like that. But I was just wasn't surrounded by the right people, and you know, I like I said, I just think I'm underrated because I'm able to stay consistent as you know as like I think I am. Consistent as best as possible, and of course I go you know, negative by 10 kills, negative 15, negative 20, and I obviously you know sometimes rage quits. I go 0 and 5 in the beginning of the games. Of course, every sniper has those problems where he has a bad game, and you know I am I am not avoiding that. I always had bad games, and I've always had you know bad sniper shots. You know it's perfectly normal for me. But on a daily on a daily basis, consistently, I average you know same positive by 15, you know around 20 every single game. You know, this game I won positive by 31 kills, and the game before that they won positive by 20 or something like that. But you know, basically what I'm trying to say is, is that hopefully with my underrated skills, I want to take it to a better level, and that's pretty much why I had this new series coming out at the end of May, which is very soon, it's next week, because because I'm gonna try to to become a part of Optic Gaming. Um, you know, I'm not trying to become a fanboy, as you guys can see in this game. I have Optic in my clan tag. It's not because I'm trying to be optic or I'm trying to claim I'm an optic. I'm trying out for them. And by having optic in my clan tag, it's something that I'm going to be doing now and it's having optic or OG, something like that in my clan tag. Because I'm aiming specifically at optic gaming with my montages, with my commentaries. I'm aiming at them because I want to be a part of them, you know. And like I said, I'm not trying to act like a serious fanboy, crazy fanboy of them because that's not really this, you know, intentionally what I'm trying to do. You know, it's, it's their clan that I want to be a part of. And, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try not to do it in a different way rather than people just trying out for Optic or just come out with the one great huge montage and that's it. I'm trying something that nobody really has tried before and that's coming out with a new episode every single week um, and stay consistent with clips and having a certain clan tag so you know I'm not just making up the clips and the, clips in the random. And that's probably actually another great idea that I'll probably do. I'll probably change my clan tag every, uh, every week so you know I'm not using the same clips or older clips that I've used. It's actually probably a great idea. Um, but, you know, back to the thing. I, I've always been on top. My friends have always told me. They've always related to me that I'm one of the best players they know. You know, and it's just... For me, I, I personally think I'm one of the best unrated snipers out there. 
Um, you know, you may see someone better than me, and of course, there's always players better than me, you know, but I know I'm not, I know I'm not the worst. But, like, again, I'm not the best. You know, I know I'm not the best. You know, obviously, there's better snipers, way better snipers out there that are better, more consistent, better montages. And Oops, sorry for that. I'm recording this out of my vault. But, you know, I have about 25 seconds left so I can talk. But, you know, I've always been on top. And I've, I've just always been, you know, up there. And I, I just, you know, back in NW3, towards the end of, um, towards, like, the end of summer, I just kind of realized, you know, I want to take my skill to a different level. You know, with this kind of skills and ability I have with the sniper, I, I want to be somewhere where I should be. And I think I should be where to be on, on a top team. You know, whether I don't, I'm not saying that I have to be on a phase, you know, almost a 2 million top team on YouTube or even Optic, even though I want to specifically aim on Optic because that's where I'm aiming for. But, you know, just in general, in general I believe I should be on a, a, a known team and a team that's, you know, known to the community and the sniping community out there because I think that's where I should be. And, you know, obviously by practicing during the summer, I'm going to constantly practice to get better and to, you know, obviously accomplish that goal, which is to be a part of Optic. And, you know, that's pretty much the reasons why I think I'm underrated, just because of what people have told me, what I've seen in myself, constantly always in first, constantly or averaging 20 to 15, uh, I mean 15 to 25 kills per game. And my accuracy with the snipers is like 55% on both. You know, it, it, it has to tell you something. And, you know, I think that's telling me, you know, I should take my skills and ability with the sniper to a different level and a bigger level than what I am right now. And so hopefully by me doing this new series with Optic, um, my Optic series, I can hopefully get noticed by someone, whether that's Optic or someone known team out there for what I'm doing because it's something that, you know, people are not used to seeing. And uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this commentary. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. It was 15 to 9, 50 and 19. Um, so it was a pretty good gameplay. If you guys like this commentary, please give it a like. And if you guys haven't seen my previous commentary, it's pretty much describing me moving forward and kind of in this, you know, part kind of this is like a part two of moving forward. I'm moving forward in my life um, with gaming, obviously. But, you know, I want to take my ability with the sniper to a different level. And hopefully you guys can support me through that because I know you guys will. You guys always support me with all the likes and the subscribers. I got I think like almost 10 subscribers in this past week. And that's awesome. That's great. I'm loving this. You know, I'm loving my growth of my channel. It's growing pretty fast and pretty insane. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I sure enjoyed it. You guys can be looking forward to a lot of great videos. That awesome series I should be coming out with. That you guys, it's something new that you guys really haven't seen anybody else do. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay itself, please give it a like. And uh, this has been Exilerates, guys. Peace.